what you need to do is after connecting up your servo you need to press select and hold it until the red light starts flashing this puts it into the alignment mode I can press up and down now and that'll move my servo a small distance every time I press it and I press up and down until I get the servo in the right place for the red and then I move on to the next position press yellow use up and down to align them move to green press up and down to align those if you press select again it goes into speed changing mode if I press down the speed will go down and the position will change to green to uh, let you see the new speed and if you press up position will go up and and if I press select again it goes to servo 2 which I don't have connected right now so um, you can then end the um, alignment procedure by pressing select holding it until it comes out of alignment mode the flashing will stop to let you know that it's out of alignment mode when it's not in alignment mode you can use up to move servo 1 and down to move servo 2 between its positions. So if I press this, you can see I'm moving between the three positions. If I press positions here, you can see the servo move. I have the bounce function on. When you have that on, the servo bounces at the end of its run, which is settable by this bounce amplitude here. You can change the size of the bounce here until you get it to look like what you think it should look like. So as I move that, you can see the servo moves a small distance each time. It doesn't need to move very far in order to move. Watch the semaphore change position as I move between the different positions.